How is it going Vaqueros and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing awesome. In today's video we're going to be talking about my favorite type of ammunition for shotguns and cod. That is slugs. I love slug rounds. They're so much fun. They're very difficult to use but really rewarding if you got the aim for it. So today we're going to go over slugs on the Bryson 800 and the Bryson 890. Mainly on just the 800 though since the 890 is just sort of like a less range version of the 800. And the reason for that is because one of the last updates these did in fact get a nice little buff to their headshot damage. So I want to talk a little bit more about them in depth and go over a best class or two and show you guys how they kind of work in the game so with all that being said let's go ahead and hop into some numbers so the big important thing that changed with this update that did buff slugs was that the headshot multiplier got increased and it basically went from 1.62 to about 1.8 so what that means is essentially up close and personal point blank one headshot is going to deal about 180 points of damage that isn't really a one-shot kill obviously it's not 250 health maybe one day we'll get one-shot kills with the headshot but for now 180 that's really not too bad now if you're wondering no this didn't change for any of the other shotguns it was just the bryson 800 and the bryson 890 and this applies to both slugs as well as explosive slugs and i'll kind of lump them together in some ways now to give you a brief overview explosive slugs do have more range than normal slugs by a little bit but the trade-off is they feel a lot more wonky and you'll notice they kind of give you weird hit markers here and there because of the explosive damage and also they tend to veer off a little bit more and they're not as accurate as slugs i found so typically i'll just be talking about slugs here as we go moving forward but know that explosive slugs pretty much the same thing just a little bit more range and harder to use so out to about 4.6 meters you can get basically one headshot and any shot on the body and you will two shot kill someone or you can do two chest shots or one stomach shot and one chest shot that will kill an enemy in two shots but out past 4.6 out to about 13.5 meters as long as you hit one headshot and one body shot you're pretty much good to go and then out past 13 out to about 32 again you really need to be hitting your headshots because you need to hit two headshots in a row and you cannot hit one headshot and one chest shot that isn't going to work and then out past that out to about 66 you're going to need two headshots in a row or it's just not going to kill in two shots again it's going to be either a three or four shot kill at that range but Again, these numbers are pretty good for headshots. I wish the body shots were a little bit more and did a little bit more damage considering how accurate they have to be. This basically feels like a weaker marksman rifle, but of course, you're gonna have a little bit more mobility than your typical marksman rifle because this is a shotgun at heart. If you wanna bump up that range a little bit for the slugs, which in my opinion isn't always necessary since they already have decent range, you can use the rifled barrel, which gives you about 26% more range on the Bryson 800. And then on the Bryson 890, you can use the Bryson Tac Fire, which gives you about 19% more range. So again, if you want more range, use a barrel. That's usually the best way to go. But of course, explosive rounds give you more range overall. Just be warned, they are a little finicky, so you really want to stay close with those things in particular. But normal slugs, you can make work out to a little bit better at distances, in my opinion. I do want to point out one of the most important attachments you could probably run with slugs is probably going to be the Bryson Choke. And the reason for this is this is the choke you want to use for the tightest spread. The aim down sight spread for this is the smallest out of any of the other attachments. And really, that is key with slugs and explosive of slugs because they tend to veer off in weird directions and this is going to help you be much more pinpoint accurate to a certain degree especially at ranges so i really really recommend using the bryson choke now we do have muzzles that increase the bullet velocity and things like that but they really don't do it by much and they weigh your aim down sights time by a good bit so i generally don't use a sort of suppressor on these shotguns when i use slugs I mean, you can do it. It might help you stay off the radar a little bit. I know that it's nice to have a quieter shotgun because shotguns are pretty damn loud. But to be honest, I think your Bryson Choke is just really the way to go and stay more towards that close to medium range with these things. In terms of sort of the best overall class, I found that this class in particular for the Bryson 800 is probably the best way to go. You notice I'm not rocking a barrel. They don't really need much more range. But with these attachments, you have great aiming idle stability and you also have that nice tight pellet spread or rather that slug spread, I should say. Now, I am rocking the FSS Guardian stock. You can use no stock, since they're rather the sawed off stock mod, if you want. It's going to give you a lot snappier aim down sights and movement speed. But the problem with that is that I noticed that the sort of wobble when you move left to right is a little too much for me. And I would rather prefer having a little bit more of a steady hand or a steady sight when I'm aiming. But you can totally do it. If you're going to go more for close quarters and sort of 
quick scope if you want to call it that with the slug use the sawed off stock don't use the pistol grip stock because i found that that one has even worse wobble than sawed off stock for some reason but Really, FSS Guardian is the most balanced out of all of them, in my opinion. For this next great class, this is going to be focused more on the range side of things. We're still going to be using the Bryson Choke, but we're going to be using the Rifle Barrel, and we're also going to be using the Slimline Pro. But really, the sight is up to you. You can use whatever sight you want. This is going to be your long-range monster. If you want to try to go for those headshots at really long ranges, this is probably the best way to go with your muzzle and the barrel, because these two are going to give you great range. They're going to give you a nice, tighter spread, so it's going to make you a lot more accurate. And of course, the sight, you probably want to tune that for for being farther away from your face since that makes it a little bit easier to aim but you can use whatever optic you want you can even use one of those scopes if you want to be goofy with it honestly i feel like a red dot sight is totally fine but if you're trying to snipe snipe like really far sniping then you probably want to use a scope Overall, my thoughts on this buff, I am very happy about it. I'm very happy that the devs acknowledge that these things, even though they're super, super niche, do need some love. And I think that's just kind of speaks to shotguns as a whole. They tend to be more niche than anything, but it's nice to see these things get some love, especially when they're things like slugs, which are just like, who uses these? Maybe like 0.01% of the population, if that. And I'm one of those few guys that does. So I love to bring attention to these things. I would love to think that the devs watch my videos and that I can offer input on these things. Now, do I think this could be taken a step further? Absolutely. But if that's going to happen, I really think that sniper rifles need to one-shot kill to the head. Like, I think that there needs to be marksman rifles that can one-shot to a certain distance and sniper rifles as well. Now, if that's the case bring back one shot slug headshots i really think that would be totally manageable of course it's going to be balanced in different ways by the range the bullet velocity and the aim down sight spread and all that stuff but bring it back because the combat shotgun at the end of warzone one's life cycle one of my favorite things to run with slugs with that one shot headshot range so much fun and i really think bringing it back to warzone 2 would be a lot of fun with some movement changes as well so we can kind of outmaneuver people who are just kind of camping with these things but overall this is a great step in the right direction i'm super happy about it these still are going to be very challenging to use. These are not for the faint of heart, but they are goofy, they are fun, and they do have some utility if you can manage to hit your shots well. The trick is to go for those headshots, stay in that close to medium range kind of area with fights. You don't really want to be pushing range too much. You can, but I don't recommend it for really practical purposes. But this is definitely something you want to play cat and mouse with. Get in and out of cover, hit your headshots, and then, you know, finish them off. And that is just about going to do it for this video, guys, covering slugs and explosive slugs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If there are any devs out there watching, thank you for buffing slugs. I love the fact that they actually did that. I love the fact that you guys are actually focused on these niche ammo types. That's really cool. In my opinion, we could probably go a little bit of a step further, increasing the damage, maybe make it a two-shot stomach shot in that first damage range, something like that. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Let me know down below in the comments, what do you think of these slugs? What do you think about the buff? Was it enough? Are they still really weak? Are they overpowered? And with all that being said, guys, I will see you in the next shotgun video.